So hi everyone. Model context protocol that is MCP servers are trending all over the internet and all for the right reason because they are just very powerful. People are also saying them as AI agents 2.0. But there are some potential risks that everyone must be knowing about MCP servers and how to mitigate them. So if you don't know what is an MCP server, what is model context protocol, just giving you a brief. It is basically a protocol which helps AI to connect with other softwares. Now these softwares can be G Suite, Gmail account, it can be Slack, it can be Discord, anything and let AI operate on your behalf, send messages, read data, etc. Now most of the time how this particular MCP server works, MCP servers are deployed on client's end, right? So for example, if there is a G Suite server, it must be it must be deployed on Google's end. They give you a connection point, you update your config and then you talk with that particular server. Like for example, if you wish to fetch out some information from Gmail, you wish to fetch out coordinates from Google Maps, etc. That calculation happens on their end and they will return you the data. The AI will reformat it and serve it to you. Now there are some potential risks with this. The first one being tool poisoning. So for example, as I already mentioned, only the connection point is visible to you and the AI is judging which tool to use based upon the description of that tool. But he doesn't see the code present in the tool. So the description might be something but the code might be completely different. Like for example, read my emails can be the tool description, but internally it might be sending some malicious emails to people. So that is one thing called as tool poisoning that might happen leading to harmful actions like data theft. Hidden risk as mentioned already uses a simple tool description while AI executes dangerous task. Fake updates, rug pull. So when initially when you are connecting to the server, everything is fine. But after two weeks, the server gets an update. The codes gets updated on the MCP server's end or from the client's end and you don't have any knowledge about it. So in that case, it can lead to some theft again. So initially everything is fine, but if the client is updating its code, eventually you might not be knowing also. Cross server attacks. This is major. Malicious servers hijack trusted tools. So some other companies might be able to hijack the cyber security breach is there and hackers might hack the actual server that is deployed and your data also gets served to them. Real world exploits, like for example, there is a fake tool that is getting added in the MCP server. You think that, okay, it will help you to, uh, for example, in Slack MCP, assume that there is a tool that is saying that to send message to in the group. You took it up, but it is a fake tool that steals your password and email. So do remember that and weak protection. Users are lacking awareness. It is a very, very new topic and tools often don't verify updates. Do remember that. If we, even if the tools are getting updated, you might not be getting any information about this. So these are certain potential risks associated with MCP servers. Do play with them, but with caution. Now, how to mitigate MCP server risk? First of all is avoid untrusted server. Just don't pick up any GitHub repo and integrates its MCP server. They, your system might be at a huge risk. Tool pinning. Log tools to trusted versions to prevent malicious updates. Clear warnings. Ensure tools display exact action before execution read what the tool is about how it is uh, serving the purpose just go through the code once if it is uh, available on github cross server isolation prevent compromise tools from affecting others use security layer this is very important deploy solutions like invariant stack for critical tasks even if you uh, turn on windows defender for certain things i think that should work for you for some of the tools like when you're connecting with slack or when discord Monitor updates. This is very important. Check out a task manager. Check out what other applications this particular server is instigating. It might be the case that you are trying to connect with Slack, but eventually it is taking your data also. So just look out in your task manager which applications are turned on when you are turning on this MCP server. Limit permissions. This is very important. Restrict tools to access only necessary data. Right? Like for example, there is a file system MCP do mention which folders it can access don't say it like you can access the entire system this can be a huge risk educate users this is what i'm trying to do train your teams train yourself what can be the potential risk and spread awareness log and audit maintain logs uh, if you know when you're using claude there is a log section that is getting maintained for each of the mcp server do check it out regularly what data is this, it is sending what permission this is requiring and last but the most important one wait for maturity the concept is very new so it's good to play around but i think delay a little read about it try out with the most stable mcp servers but not with everything 
and look at what are the potential issues because I'm hearing on Reddit that there are some data thefts that might be going on because of these MCP servers. So be very, very careful. I hope this was useful and now you would be able to use MCP servers better. Thank you so much.